making sort of a healthy lunch. Turkey pastrami, you know, less fat that way. I have to have to work on that. Um, pita, you know, wheat, less carbs, and of course water. I, I eat pretty healthily. So what's it, what was it like working with Sarah Michelle Geller on Buffy the Vampire Player? <laughs> I never get asked that question. <laughs> I'm surprised that you don't because she played Buffy. Um, Sarah is very professional. Always on time. Very professional. She's really good at Buffy. Hey. No better. Um, yeah, she, she, she did a very, very good job as Buffy. I haven't told uh, Tubi this, but I actually um, just recently got off the phone with my ex-husband. Um, who's an agent, very powerful agent, and he's agreed to take a meeting with her to try to get her some work, and that's really the first step in you know, helping Tubi get her SAG card. I'm really, really excited because I really thank you, Emma. That's not like it's that's very fun. exciting. Isn't that going to be fun? Well, because you, if you have an agent, you can go on audition. Yeah, and this is great because you know Joe handles all different types of talent, so you know he'll really be able to cover her, and they also they also have a. Uh, quite a large commercial department because I think she'd also be great in commercials. Rainbow. You can make a lot of money in commercials. I know that uh, I once knew this one uh, girl and she didn't ever have to work because she, she did commercials. Well, I mean, work, you know, commercial actors work, you know, they work. It's yeah, like, like she, she worked maybe two times. She had a whole house and um, she and she she did a commercial well, for a for a soda of some kind. The thing is, the thing it is international, and it, it went everywhere, and she makes money every time it's on the air. The the thing with that is, is that you know, I would get an iPod. Actors, I would get an iPod if I had money like that. And you can you can download one thousand songs on it and have it. Would you do? Would you like? Would you like to? Would you like to hear one of my jokes? I'd love to hear one of my jokes. Okay, um, uh, let, me, let me think about a good one that I want to tell. Um, okay, here's one. This one, this one, I, I always, people always really like. What did the black kid get for Christmas? <laughs> what? My bike. And why that's funny is because black people steal things. <laughs> and so, and... You know, then if you say my bike, then it, they know that black kids steal things. And it's funny because if you ask that, because the black kid got it for Christmas because probably another black kid stole it from me and gave it to, um, to, to him for Christmas. I mean, clearly she, you know, she, Tubi doesn't really know what she's saying. Um, no, I do. I, I'm telling the jokes. No, no, no. I know you're telling the jokes, but I mean... You know, you don't mean any harm by them. No, they're because they're, they're just jokes. Right, they're just jokes, and and the jokes happen to be funny. And what a what a what a great you know foray, if you will, into this documentary of of is it okay to laugh at somebody who's developmentally disabled, particularly if they're saying something that's kind of offensive. People know it's a joke that you're just teasing. Right. They don't really get mad. At least they don't get mad at me. So this is really exciting today. Um, I'm taking Tubi to her first Pilates class. I think she's really going to like it. Working with the machines and I've got a great instructor. You know, since the camera does add 15 pounds, it's important to just sort of keep that, you know, sort of mental calculation. If you're naturally 115, and say you do theater but you want to do film, you got to lose 15 pounds because on film you're going to look like you weigh 115. I mean, you might look a little scary in person, but that's just a sacrifice you have to make. I'm going to just work to open her up a little bit. Maybe I'm going right. to, here, let's put you on this ball. Okay. Oh, Why? you're going to like the ball too, it feels here, really good. Sit your bum right down here. Like slide it down. Slide, slide, slide. Keep rolling. Now walk your feet out. Make sure you don't Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. Now let the body go over the ball. Just let the back. Relax over. Arms over. Arms over. Good. Now keep your knees bent. Oh. Yeah. You okay? 
Are you feeling yeah, okay? Yeah, okay. okay. All right, good, good. Stay on the ball. Okay, now just see how it feels to have that back open, sort of stretching the front of your body. Oh, yeah. It's stretched out in a long time, has it? Okay. Yeah, I've good. never been on a ball. Yeah. Put your chin to your chest. And now pull these muscles into your spine. Pull your abdom tummy into your back. And now let's just peel off the ball. Okay, on. come on, come on, come on, you can do it. And pull the stomach in. Well, do it like sit up. Sit up, there you go, that's a girl. Sometimes things can be really, you know, uncertain in this business, which Tubi hopefully won't, you know, have to figure out. She probably will, the odds are, you know, pretty much stacked against anybody in this business, but I feel really confident that um, if we really align all the stars, align the plants with Tubi and, you know, get her coaching, get her an agent, get her pictures, get her in shape, teach her how to eat properly, I think she's really going to go really, really go very far. So. This road is windy.